Hi students, it's Shayna from EspressoEnglish.net and today I want to answer a question from a student who asked about the difference between care for, care about, and take care of. So today I'm going to teach you a couple of different ways to use the English word care. There are some differences, some important differences between all of these phrases. So let's get started. If you say I don't care about something, you're saying that thing is not important to you, okay? So for example, I really don't care about celebrities. Some people really like to learn about the lives of famous people and know what they're doing all the time. I don't. I don't care about celebrities. They're just not important to me. Okay, so I don't care about means that something is not important to you. You don't think about it. You don't care about it. Okay, now another way to say something isn't important to you is to say I don't care plus a question word. For example, if you're a very independent person, then you might say I don't care what other people think about me. Okay, so we have I don't care followed by a question word, what. I don't care what other people think about me. I'm just going to live my life independently. Another example would be, let's say you have a mother and she has a son who needs to clean his room. And the son is complaining because he says, oh, it's going to take such a long time to clean my room. The mother could say, I don't care how long it takes, you need to clean your room. So that's another example of using I don't care followed by a question word. I don't care how long it takes you to clean your room, you still need to do it. So both of these, I don't care about and I don't care followed by a question word, they mean this thing is not important to me, okay? Write a comment telling me one thing that you don't care about. So for me, I give the example of celebrities. I don't care about celebrities. What do you care about? Write it in the comments. But for now, I want to move on to I don't care for. This is completely different. If you say I don't care for something, that is a polite way to say you don't like it. So, for example, we can use this with foods. Uh, I don't care for mayonnaise. I just don't really like it on my sandwiches. So, I don't care for mayonnaise. Um, you can use it to talk about TV shows, movies, sports, or activities that you just, you don't like. But instead of saying, I don't like it, you can be a little bit more polite by saying, I don't care for it. Okay? So, I don't care for means I don't like. And it's a polite and kind of indirect way to express your dislike. So your next uh, task is to write another comment telling me something you don't care for. Let's make it a food. What's one food you don't care for? I don't care for mayonnaise. How about you? What's one food that you just don't care for? Okay, so they're different. I don't care about means this thing is not important to me. Same with I don't care plus a question word. And I don't care for means I don't like this thing. Um, now, we have a very strong expression and that is I couldn't care less. This phrase is used when something is extremely not important to us. So it's like a stronger version of I don't care about. If you say, I couldn't care less, that means I really don't want to think about this. It is completely not important to me, okay? So we use this in similar situations with I don't care about. So I could say, I couldn't care less what other people think about me. That would be an even stronger way to express that it's completely and totally not important to me. Now, be a little bit careful with this phrase, I couldn't care less, because it is very strong, okay? So if your best friend is, is telling you about a really big problem that she has, and you say, I couldn't care less, 
well, she's going to feel bad because it means you really don't care about her problems and, and her she is not very important to you. So be careful where you use this, okay, because it is quite strong. You might want to know how you might say that something is not important to you in a job or in a professional situation because if you say, I don't care about, even, even that one, it, it is a little bit strong and so you don't want to make other people like your coworkers or your boss feel bad. So let's say, um, okay, let's say you have a big project that needs to get done and one of your coworkers is saying, oh, but it's going to be a lot of work or it's going to be very expensive. You could say, I don't care how expensive it is or I don't care about the cost, but it's probably best to use a little more of a polite phrase. So you can use the expression, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much it costs, we need to get this project done. Or you can use regardless, okay? Regardless of how much work is needed, we still need to get the project done. So those are two options for saying uh, something is not important or you don't care about it in a little more of a diplomatic way, okay? So we have, I don't care about, I don't care, plus a question word, and I couldn't care less to express that something's not important to you. We have I don't care for to express that you don't like something. And a lot of students get confused between these phrases and the expression take care of. What does take care of mean? Well, we use it in a few different ways. If I'm going to go on vacation and I have a dog, the dog can't come with me on vacation, so I leave the dog at my sister's house and my sister will take care of the dog. That means she will be responsible for it. She will be responsible for treating the dog well, for giving it food and playing with the dog. So to take care of an animal uh, or a plant or children means to look after it, to treat it well, to give it what it needs, okay? That's one way to use take care of. Uh, another way you can use take care of is when talking about simply responsibility. So maybe there's a problem at work and your boss is really upset about this problem. You could say, don't worry, I'll take care of it. This means I will be responsible for handling the problem and finding a solution, okay? So take care of means something like to take responsibility for something. And in the case of um, children, animals, plants, sometimes objects that you might give to somebody, uh, it means to treat that thing well. For example, um, my husband takes good care of our car. He cleans it often, he does the maintenance, he takes good care of it, he treats it well. The opposite of take good care of something is not take bad care of it, okay? That expression doesn't exist. So we have take good care of to mean treat something well, and the opposite to treat something badly or not treat it well is not take good care of it or not take care of it. So someone who doesn't take care of their car well would leave the car dirty and um, not do any maintenance on it. Maybe they drive too fast uh, and wear out the parts in the car. So that would be someone who is not taking good care of their car. Okay, do you see the difference between all these phrases? Use these for something that's not important to you. Use this one for something you dislike. Use this for something that is extremely not important to you. And then use the expression, take care of, to talk about taking responsibility or treating something or someone well. Got it? If you have any further questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.